Park forward. All right. Uh, go ahead and tell me the name of your band. Invisible Bike. And uh, tell me the name of the song. Or like, yeah, tell me the name of the song you guys just recorded. Yeah, you didn't know that. I don't know the name of the song. I, for, uh, I forgot to make a name for it. Uh, it's Rundown Demo. Uh, succubus. Succubus from Space. Wait. Attack of the Succubus from Space, part one. Okay. All right. So, uh, can you guys describe to me your black and blue experience that you just went through? Like, just tell me a little bit about it. Um, well, I got my criteria last night at 7. I didn't start until about 10.30. Um, I drank a couple of uh, Lone Stars. Uh, stayed up for about an hour, worked on it. Um, Slipper happened right with Big Dipper, so I decided to go with the space theme. Uh, I got up about 5.30 this morning, tried to hammer out a little bit. I was feeling completely defeated this morning. But then I went down to the uh, music store and jammed with Jason on my lunch break. Sandwiches and a jam. Yeah, I went out and ate some lemon pepper chicken <laughs> afterwards. But uh, after the jam, I felt, like, pretty confident about what we were doing because playing with these guys kind of, like, makes all the weird ideas work. All right. Um, in comparison, like, how does black and blue uh, rate in comparison? Like, how is Black and Blue in comparison to your normal songwriting process? Um, well, it's, it's good because uh, with the limitations, we didn't really have time to agonize. Well, like, usually we nitpick every little note, but, like, with this, there, we didn't really have the luxury of time. So we just, like, jammed it out as quick as we possibly could, and it was pretty good because we didn't have time to, like, argue about it or put it off. Okay. Um, which song criteria did you end up using? All of them. <laughs> <laughs> which one was your favorite? Um, I have to say horn section because that was really challenging to track down a horn section, write a horn part, and then like make them do what they were supposed to do all within 24 hours. What was what do you feel was the most challenging of the criteria that you had? Um, well, they were all equally challenging because it was our goal from the beginning to do every single one of them. So trying to make room for every single criteria was a challenge in itself. Um, what advice would you give to any band that wants to participate in the future, Black and Blues? Um, drink coffee. <laughs> Don't overthink it. Yeah. Pick good people to play with, because, uh, <laughs> yeah, you'll be out there swinging your dick in the wind otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> How, uh, how did you guys feel about the final product? Um, as of now, it sounded pretty cool. We were looking forward to hearing the final mix and everything. But, yeah, it was uh, better than expected. Is that fair to say? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. yeah, better than expected. Cool. That's it, guys. Okay. Thanks. That concludes.